How's it going everyone? So we got Lucas the beekeeper here and what we're doing is he's helping me. We're transferring nukes over and we're gonna be moving them so he's gonna be putting that nuke right there in this pro nuke into this wood nuke and this one has a screen bottom on it and what we're doing is we are going to be transporting these to a new yard so they need they need ample ventilation it's just super hot uh, we're taking them up tomorrow and it's going to be about a three hour drive so we're taking up some nukes to get started in a new yard and uh i don't want to transfer them down pollen? yeah so he's saying so we got pollen down there good food a little bit of nectar syrup in there all right we'll put that in there bud is it hot out here for you? Yep. Yeah, it's hot. You know, that's something that a lot of people will get caught up on is the heat. And, you know, if my if my son can do it, you guys can get out there and check your, check your bees. Don't let it stop you. August can be a hard month for beekeepers. It can be a hard month for bees, too. So, especially with the mite built up and no food and heat. We are definitely in a robbing situation out here. So these bees, what do you see down there? We got lots of, it looks like, we got some eggs and some cat brood. Yeah, a little bit of cat brood. Pollen. Let's get in here, let's see. Let's see some larvae down there. Yeah, lots of pollen. Oklahoma has tons of pollen, so that's good. That's what we need. To rear healthy bees. So once he gets that uh, pro nuke transferred over into that nuke with the screen bottom, what we will do is we'll end up putting this on here. So start letting them expand. And this is all going to be drawn comb. Uh, you can see in here this came from a uh, dead out. But uh, this is a uh, wax moth damage, so you can see that uh, webbing. We've got lots of cat bird. Lots of cat bird. Um, oh, yeah, look at that. See, the queen's doing great on there. This queen is marked, so Lucas, if you see her, let us know. She's red. But you can see, so different, uh, different, a little bit of web and stuff. It's not too bad. So if you come across a situation like this, um, bees will clean it up. It's. Uh, it's a doable, it's very easy for a healthy hive to, to do this. So people will ask, well, can I reuse these frames? And you absolutely can. You know, a lot of people, you need to think about nature in, in the wild. So when a dead out goes there, you know, wax moths move in and, you know, some small hive beetles and they will get, get it cleaned up. But you can see it was robbed out. So this is a robbing sign. So see how they're chewed, looks really chewed up. And then this isn't, so they probably had honey in this colony before it died right there. And stuff, and again, just a little bit. Now if it's real bad, we'll take it out. And we won't use them. We don't want to, want to do that. But that's not a, that's not nothing, anything bad and stuff. And then we'll get these combs transferred out. Eventually, and cycled out. So, you're doing good over there, bud? Yep. Yeah, good job gentle bees we got a feeder in here we'll put the ladder and the cap in there but we're not going to feed them right now because of transportation uh, so we do, we don't travel with feed jars on there or with these internal feeders with food in there it sloshes all around it creates a mess and it can kill a colony um, being too much moisture and everything so on that frame it has a bunch of bees on it bud Let's uh, give them a shake, just right here in this bee box, just shake them off just Which a little one? bit, just in the white one. There you go, and now slide it in there, that'll be a lot easier on those bees. So what he did was, there was bees that were hanging out, and they were they made the comb really fat, so if you were trying to slide that in, you're going to end up rolling a lot of bees. And so you don't want to do that, and, you know, just shake them off a little bit. So what we're going to do with this now is I'll remove these little things. Give a little puff of smoke over here, bud. 
we don't want to keep them open very long at all right now this is uh, like I said we're in robbing then you just dump them in here just like that just like that and then we're gonna remove this all right go ahead and put that purple one on there Lucas is using his he wanted to try this new hive tool out so he's using it how do you like it bud I like it here let me smoke those bees out of the way a little bit there we go give them some smoke right there there you go now now slide that on there excellent line it up that purple box is just a little wider than the white box it's not a big deal now put the screen on and so what these screens are this is uh, we use PVC board and it's like an inch and a half maybe a two inch little thing so we do that and then we will put a solid lid on top of here just to prevent a lot of bees gathering up here and then this colony figuring out their insurance so we'll close it up but then in the morning when we come out here we'll put duct tape around it so it doesn't slide off and we will travel just like this and then that bottom down there is screened so ample airflow through the hive on the on the traveling so it'll be i don't know probably 100 degrees tomorrow's so that's why you want to do it and then that little entrance down there we'll put some tape over it and then we will transfer them over to a colony or to a new hive box when we get to the property y'all be keeping a drill out there Bye. all right see ya